It's tourmaline, garnets, and books of muscovite here on this episode of Rock County USA. Well, Chase and I just finished looking through what I'm calling the W&T Mines, uh, all owned by Frank Perm, and we had a bite to eat, and now we're going to venture up the trailhead towards the Harvard Mine. Now, that's a much steeper hike, not for the faint of heart, I've been told, and once you arrive at the mine, uh, it's pretty steep once you get there. I uh, had a wonderful time at the W&T Mines, found lots of muscovite, lots of just rough, you know, tourmaline, feldspar, just in beautiful scenery, beautiful weather. We're having a great time and uh, we just uh, can't wait. We've heard reports that people have found some pinky sized crystals of black tourmaline up at the Harvard Mine not that long ago. So we'll uh, head up there, see what it's all about, and we'll report after we're done. So we'll see you up there. To begin your trek to the Harvard Quarry, leave from the parking lot of the W&T Quarries and travel about 1,500 feet further to the east to a larger parking area on the right side of the road. As you see on the map, there is not a well-marked trail to get to the Harvard Quarry about a half mile through dense forest. There are two trails to the Harvard Quarry, but neither of them are very well marked. One leads to the lower end of the quarry and the other ends at the top of the Harvard Quarry. There is a small trailhead just to the west of the parking area. Look for a metal stake with red plastic tape attached to it. Climb up the steep bank and then follow the loose trail with either trees that have been spray painted with marks or look for the orange or red tape on various trees or branches along the way. I highly recommend using GPS with some type of satellite imagery above marking your location to lead you up to the quarry, especially in the spring and in the summer months when the undergrowth is going to be very thick and many trails will be hard to follow. Near the trailhead that I mentioned, there is a road, but there is a chain across the road and signs marking private property. From our research, we discovered that Frank Perham owns only the actual quarry area, which is about a one square acre area. We're not completely certain of the forest area surrounding the quarry as to its status as state or private property. All right, after almost a 30 minute climb through trail to no trail to no trail to less of a trail to even less of a trail to where the heck are we to finally getting out Google satellite view and following our blue dot until it took us to the quarry area, we have finally arrived profusely sweating uh, very thankful that the biting flies and mosquitoes so far have not yet appeared uh, that we've read so much about. And uh, the problem is, this was the easy part, getting to the bottom. For now, we have to go up there. Uh, looks like three or four hundred feet vertical. Um, so this may be my last video I ever make. Uh, so far, we've already seen massive evidence of uh, black tourmaline, some muscovite, feldspar, um, just phenomenal amount of material. As would be expected in a location this remote, hasn't been picked through nearly as much. All right, this is our first truly significant tourmaline crystal that we found since we've been up here on Harvard. I'm going to put my finger next to it. That's my index finger for scale. and. Uh, Wish we could get that out of the rock. Not sure if we can, but this rock is full of tourmaline crystal and structures. Chase is chomping at the bit to get out the get out the sledgehammer and hammer away. Got this kind of an olive drab green mixed with black tourmaline. Can't wait to identify this. The crystalline structure is very pronounced. It's got kind of a greasy cleavage to it. We'll uh, have to identify it later. All right, reached down for what I thought was a small black tourmaline crystal and looked at it and lo and behold, it's actually a garnet. Lots to find up here. We are blown away. 
We've already about loaded up our backpack full of tourmaline crystals, and we've been here less than 20 minutes. This is going to be a fantastic location. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of tourmaline crystals embedded in this pegmatite. It's obviously been worked very heavily by people, chipping them away, but there are still plenty more to be found just throughout all of these rocks. Every time we break one open, it reveals new treasures inside. So we're not sure if we're gonna be able to work our way up there. That seems impossible at this point, as tired as I am, but uh, we'll see. But so far, the Harvard mine is paying off richly. There's a, there's a heartbreaker for you. Some beautiful garnets, but damaged either from rolling down the hill or through human activity, don't know. But that's a heartbreaker. Right about 45 minutes in, ran across this cute puppy. Pretty nice tourmaline crystal. No idea how long the original one was, obviously, but pretty nice little chunk. We'll take it, we'll take it. Just cracked open a big rack, and when we looked inside, check out that little treasure chest of crystalline goodness. Love me some beautiful black tourmaline. That's gorgeous. Some garnet in there too. Well, Chase and I hate to leave the incredibly steep Harvard mine, but we have loaded our backpacks, pockets, empty water bottles with tourmaline, with garnets. We've spent probably a solid three hours picking through this incredible field of rubble, the, the scree didn't even begin to try to make it near the top where we've heard of people finding some very nice loose crystals, but we found quite a few crystals in C2 and then uh, liberated a few. And uh, folks, wow, what an incredible treasure trove of minerals, of geology, of different uh, types of rocks and strata. So again, we are in Oxford County, Maine at the somewhat famous Harvard Mine and uh, it's tourmaline, it's muscovite, it's garnet crystals, uh, it's feldspar, it's quartz veins. Uh, it is an incredible pegmatite experience. I give it a 10 out of 10. And uh, we'll do a wrap-up video and show you some of our finds. If we survive the return hike back down, we're out of water, we're out of Gatorade, we may have to cut into some tree bark and drink some sap. Okay. So we thought we'd be smart and come back a different way by going more downhill. It'd be easier to hit the, hit the main road. And uh, we are getting closer to the main road, but we're also hitting a lot of swampy snags and mud. And so, as I've often said in the past, some of the longest roads I've ever been down were shortcuts. And uh, anyway, so hopefully we'll get out of this jungle, this uh, rainforest, and uh, to give you our review report, and uh, Chase is confident that we will survive this alive. I'd say the chances are six out of 10, maybe 6.5. Well, thank the Lord, Chase and I made it down the mountain. We took a completely different path and hit the road about 200 yards further down from our vehicle, ran into two different car loads of people, uh, both of which were wanting to go up to Harvard and got to share some of our exciting finds with them and just really got them excited and encouraged. Uh, one of them said they're going to come back tomorrow. Looks like the weather's going to be iffy, but they're going to try to brave the hike. It's a whole, I think it was uh, five people. And uh, and then another carload of guys. Uh, some were from Massachusetts, some were from North Carolina and Missouri. We all met right here in Maine. Uh, thanks to Frank Perham and his generosity of allowing people to come and enjoy this incredible pegmatite wonder that we find here in Oxford County, Maine. Uh, we'll do a review video in a little bit and show you our treasures and we're pretty excited. There's some great stuff there and great garnet, great tourmaline and, and most of all, a great time making great memories with my son Chase. We'll see you guys at the review and summary. Well, we collected quite a bonanza at the Harvard Quarry. As you can see here on this piece of tourmaline with dual garnet crystals. What a fantastic time collected in this pegmatite seeing just the wide variety of geology, of minerals, of even the scenery and the beauty of nature all around the quarry. 
And so just a wealth of material to go through. These beautiful pieces of pegmatite here with several minerals visible in each and this nice tourmaline montage. Wow, what great memories. Cannot wait to go back to the Harvard Quarry in Oxford County, Maine. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you get a few moments, hop on over to our web store where we have great rock hounding t-shirts, sweatshirts with just that right message for the rock hound in all of us. Thanks.